Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. For premium picks, by the way, for World Cup viewers, uh, I think there's Brazil, Argentina, Spain, and Germany, and then there's everyone else. Right? If your future's better, you want to get in on those teams early to lock in, you know, 4-1 to one to 6-1 to one, uh, odds. I understand for Brazil it's a little bit lower. Right, but you want to lock in some odds right now because, of course, these teams are going to be simply too expensive as the World Cup goes forward. Anyway, just remember the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about a fight that has some of the people here online who I follow from time to time, notably Wingy from the United Kingdom picking the other side of the play. And I'm talking about the fight between Demetrius Andrade and Brian Rose. Now I understand that Brian Rose was officially awarded the decision over Javier Maciel. Right? Many people admire Brian Rose's toughness. He has a great record. Right? Many people here online, as I mentioned just a moment ago, believe that Brian Rose can pull the upset. I don't. I believe Demetrius Andre falls into that category in boxing of fighters who are much better than advertised. I hope you keep an eye on him. Put another way, if Andre were to fight Janady Golovkin right now, unbeaten middleweight champion who is getting a bit overrated here online, and I'm a guy who used to talk about Golovkin positively, Right? I would take the over in that fight because I believe Andre is pretty good defensively and can stretch a fight out even against a stalker. Here, talent matters to me. Andre just has too much talent for Brian Rose. I understand Brian Rose is a gamer and he has a lot of heart. What he doesn't have is the hand speed of Andre. What he doesn't have is the power of Andre or the body punching ability of Andre. Nor does he have the ability to lead with his left hand, right, his dominant hand, if he were a southpaw like Andre, right? Andre, to me, is very talented. Keep in mind, this guy's a former U.S. Olympian. While he might not be that well known, you should not overlook him. I think this fight is going to be a victory lap for Andre. Let me also say, too, that Brian Rose is going to come to the United States for this fight. Understand, when a fighter who relies more on heart than talent leaves his home country and travels abroad, He's going to be judged in that fight by what he does in the ring, his performance. Not the fact that he's a good guy or has a pleasant personality. Right? So, I'm expecting Brian Rose to have problems. Let me just say I have no doubt in my mind, after looking at Maciel versus Rose, that if that fight were in Argentina, Maciel's home country, Maciel, in the same fight, would have been awarded the decision by several rounds. Right? I got the feeling people were rooting for Rose personally and not on what he was doing in the ring. I think the judges in that fight got caught up in the crowd dynamic. I don't expect that to happen here. In fact, as I see it, Rose will be lucky to go the distance against Andre. I like Andre big here. Understand, though, you're not going to get wealthy on this fight. It's a minus 800. This is the kind of fight where you should bet your normal allotment with the understanding that at the end of the day, you're not going to make that much money. Because it's a minus 800, I don't really see the hedge opportunity here. Right, so I like Andre on a money line, minus 800, to beat Brian Rose. I think that um, the people supporting Brian Rose right now are getting a little bit too caught up in Rose's story and not in what he does in the ring. 
Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.